All right. So we talked about this earlier, and this is important. How to find stops. First of all, back yourself out and think like a fifth grader. If it's obvious to a fifth grader as to where they would put their stops, then it's obvious to most of the rest of the world. So if you say, and I don't see it on this chart necessarily, but you know, maybe you see it in here a little bit. See the top, you see this congestion box, and then you got this high over here. It makes sense that if you're short, let's just talk on the short side, use a buy stop to get out. It's a stop order to buy stop to cover a short for a losing position mostly. Where would you put it? Where's an obvious place that a fifth grader would put it? All right. Now, with that knowledge, you begin to get closer at understanding where there might be a lot of stops. Then we're able to show you if you were right based on our puke tool. And this shows where the stops came out afterwards. These are definitely buy and sell stops that have come out in the market over the last few minutes in here and in the last 15 hours or eight hours up here. Now, the important part about stops is knowing we talk about this another time after they come out is important. But before they come out, if there's a lot of people who are short in the market and therefore they're using buy stops to cover that short position, right? If a buy stop is that X and then there's a few more in a certain area and a few more and a few more, all of a sudden, this is a lot. Price is right here. Why would price be prone to get pulled up into those buy stops as if they were a magnet? And the answer is because most of these buy stops are connected to buy limit orders below. How about when you get short? You probably put a buy limit below connected to a buy stop above. You're a buyer either way. You hope to buy it lower, that's profit on a short trade. So if you think about it, you don't want to put your stop where there's popular stops, but you want to help to get better at finding the stops because it creates a good bias as where the price might go. Now, why, going back to the answer, why is the market, if it's got a lot of buy stops in this area, why would it be prone to get pulled up? Because look at all the connected buy orders there. And all of a sudden, there's a lot of buyers in the market that might just say, screw it, I'll buy it here. Screw it, I'll buy it here. And there's that upside pressure. More buy stops, more buyers. More buy stops, more buyers. You need to get to more buyers in order to make a prediction up. More sellers to make a prediction down. You got to know why price moves and you know, got to then think, how do I get there? That's really important. How do I get there?